Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the very basic structure uh, of the HTML. So if you're totally new to HTML, uh, this video may help you understand how it works. So HTML is not a programming language. As you can tell from the word, it's a markup language, hypertext markup language. Uh, it is more like the uh, really big umbrella or big bowl. So um, um, I try to find uh, some materials to explain uh, more effectively. And I found this, uh, Russian nesting dolls. It's called uh, Matryoshka. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not good at Russian pronunciation, but um, that's, that is this. So this is HTML. So every single HTML page consists of HTML tag. And then each tag has opening and closing with this backslash. So once you open and you have to close it, it's like a switch, turn it on, turn it off, on and off. So this is a big umbrella. I mean, the big, uh, the biggest than uh, Russian doll. And then once you open it, you can nest or you can embed smaller tags inside the head and you can have more inside title it's a kind of a hierarchy from html head title and you can have a body so most of the content we are seeing on single web page like the text image any video file or audio files will be embedded inside of this and also it will have a h tag we call the head headings like a title of the page then we may have a little tiny one like this paragraph but there could be even more so i will show you how it works um, <clears throat> as i compare this uh, each code to this the russian nesting doll uh matryoshka <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so um, before we start, I want you to download one uh, free software from online, Brackets, uh, brackets.io uh, here. Okay, uh, this is the uh, HTML editor. It's an open source. Uh, there are a lot of different uh, HTML editors. Even you can use the uh, Dreamweaver or Simple Text. No text editor uh, or um, um, the um, uh, text wrangler. There are a lot, but um, this is a good one. Um, I, I enjoy this one. Okay, so download it. Download brackets, and then once you open it, you're gonna have this. Okay, before we start, I want you to do this. Uh, this uh, web design, the HTML thing, it is all about linking. So as I showed you, my um, the entire the uh, Matryoshka, the Russian nesting dolls, that's going to be one complete page, and then everything we're gonna have, HTML document, and then images or any resource files will be linked into one single HTML document, and they're supposed to be saved in one designated folder. We call that root folder. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to name it as a root. And this root folder will contain everything from now on. And also under this root folder, let me create another new folder inside and we'll name it as images. Okay, so under root folder, and then any images we're going to use will be saved here under images folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, you can download any images from the web. Uh, why don't we do this? I have a one image. I'm going to save it for web. I will explain about the, the images and the colors and the font things in the next videos. So I'm um, um, don't worry about this portion. So let me save it as a medium quality as a JPEG file and then save it to under my documents 
and then as you as I created the new root folder under images I'm gonna save it as matryoshka.jpg okay now open brackets okay so uh, as you remember that uh, we're going to create from open the uh, this new HTML document by typing HTML okay as you can see that once I open uh, this brackets will uh, write yeah, you're the closing HTML tag automatically okay we can just keep writing as it is but I will break the line so we can tell which one is which so as it is this is a complete 100% complete HTML document one single web page let me save it save as I'm gonna save it to my um, documents and my root folder and in here always save your first page as index.html okay you can do a live view uh, from here by clicking this button yay so this is a one complete document you see that there you see uh, you see that uh, hierarchies from my root folder and index.html okay so this is a um, completely perfect file even though there is nothing okay let's add something on it okay as I showed you break the line so after HTML tag the next one is called the head tag okay let me break the line and between the head tag we can have a title so this oops not title title the title will be the name of the tab of your uh, uh, of your uh, window on your browser so um if i name it as a my page like this let me save it again live preview see that here on my tab that's the name that's the title of this page okay now go back so after head tag so uh, just imagine the, 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 the human's body uh, after head and then we have a body so let me have a open the other body tag so most of the content we are seeing on any single web page will be embedded in between this opening and closing body tag so under body first I want to have a subheading like a, the title of the page so um, heading uh, there are several numbers like h1 h2 h3 h4 to h7 uh, but in this h1 will have the, the largest type size so it's a kind of a title I will just type welcome and exclamation mark let me save it live preview see I have a welcome text okay let's add some more so after title I may want to have some uh, paragraph so after heading break the line let me start from the p tag meaning paragraph so we don't have actual contents now so uh, let me go online uh, if you google the lorem ipsum uh, the dummy text you can find that from the uh, there, there are a whole bunch of uh, uh, website so let me just copy this first paragraph and back to brackets and let me paste it save it and let me live a preview now you can see this so I have a text it's a kind of a responsive see okay I like it okay and then uh, after this let's add one more the the image the matryoshka image <laughs> so after Peter so um uh, unlike 
other uh, most of text we've been using, HTML, head, title, and the body, h1, and then the p tag, the um, image source tag doesn't need to have, you don't have to close it. You can just make a link. So the tag is img space src image source equal under images folder, you can click, and then there's a matryoshka.jpg and close the brackets. So the important thing is, before you import any image like this matryoshka or the any images, it has to be saved in your root folder first. If you move the position, location of your image source uh, later, afterwards, it's not going to work. So make sure everything needs to be in there first. Okay, so save it again and live preview. See, I have an image. So we have a complete web, web page. Uh, one more thing. Uh, I'm, anyway, as I mentioned, I'm going to explain about the other web file formats and the web safe colors in my next video. But uh, let me show just a little bit. So welcome. Uh, I'm okay with that, but I, I want to have a this uh, different text color. For example, uh, different, yeah, like a bright red or a bright blue or some other colors. So it is about the font. So um, what I'm going to do is, let me open font tag. Okay. But on this closing font tag, supposed to be after my welcome letter. So welcome word. So let me cut command X and let me paste it here. Now I can have some variations. Font. So first, let me change the color. Color equal. Uh, I want to have red. So let me save it now. Live preview. And see what happens. So I have a red text. Okay. And then by system default, I have this kind of a serif style. For example, I want to have a sans serif like the Arial or the Helvetica. So, after this font color, let me change the face. Equal, quotation mark, and let me have a Helvetica. And save it again, <clears throat> and live preview. See? The difference so it is working like this way okay one more thing uh, my background color is white by default but I want to have different color as well so let me change my body background color body space BG color equal let me try yellow and see what happens save it and live preview. So I have a yellow background, which is not pretty, but um, uh, it works. Uh, if you do not use this, uh, the brackets, what you can do is, once you save it, now you can see there your index.html file in here, and just a double click, and it will open it from your current web browser. So either way is fine. Okay. Uh, and so uh, next time I'm going to uh, show you some um, the how to prepare the images for the web and some more stuff on this the very basic HTML uh, structure. So thanks for watching and see you next time.